Welcome to the Tech Architect. My name is Imran Ashraf and you are watching Windows 10 Tips and Troubleshooting video series and this is the 14th video of the series. Although I uh, earlier I told you uh, the 13th video, uh, my 13th video uh, is the last but uh, I also uh, in the beginning I also told you that I will add more videos with time to time if I found something useful for you and uh, this video is about basically uh, 10 windows 10 networking commands these uh, are the basic networking command uh, the basic networking command uh, entered from the command prompt everyone should be able to use the troubleshooting network connection problems uh, sometimes the help di uh, help us guys uh, are guiding you over the phone and ask you please ping this IP address please uh, tell me your own IP address or MAC address and what is your uh, computer name host name and please uh, try the NSLOOKUP command uh, you uh, send me the screenshot of your trace route and uh, like this so uh, in uh, that case these commands are useful for you to learn and to uh, do uh, practice at your own uh, uh, PC and uh, uh, and you can do uh, more with these commands. So living, uh, basically living and working uh, is um, an always connected word means the quality and the reliability of your network connection is vital practically everything uh, you do on your computer or mobile device. Maintaining a quality network connection and troubleshooting that connection that fails are basic skills that everyone should know. At the very least le uh, level be familiar with. For Microsoft 10 uh, users there are 10 basic networking commands that you should know and be prepared to use when uh, when occasion okay, calls for it. Uh, and some of these commands have equivalents in Windows 10 GUI but for many of us command, pro uh, command line structure is more effective and efficient. Uh, so we will discuss about these command and uh, we will run these command from uh, command prompt as you can see in uh, uh, the screenshot and uh, shortly I will open uh, this command prompt uh, windows plus plus R key uh, enter uh, to open the run command and in run command you will open uh, you will type CMD and you will get this CMD like if I type here uh, like windows i press windows r and cmd like got this i can uh, uh, search from uh, search bar also and here i have options run or open run as administrator open the file location pin to the start and taskbar i choose run as administrator and it is asking me uh, do you want to allow yes i i allow so I need to set it uh, a small version and first of all we need to go to the first command that is ping you can see in my screen in my slide ping ping is the first command of all the windows 10 networking command ping is probably the one almost uh, knows about and has used before uh, the ping command allows you to test the reachability of the device to on the network pinging a host should return four data packets if the data package uh, packets are not returned you uh, know there is a problem with your network connection and uh, let me test let like if I want to ping google.com I need to uh, write ping space google.com and press enter and it's replying me in the uh, form of the four packets one two three and four and it told me that everything is fine uh, minimum uh, it's approximate uh, rtt round trip time in milliseconds minimum maximum and average which is which is fine and packets sent four received four loss zero zero percent loss which means everything is fine I am already connected with the internet if uh, some time uh, internet is not working like if uh, I disconnect from uh, 
from my let me disconnect the internet and then we again test again let me test ping and ping request could not find the uh, host google.com please check that uh, try uh, check the name and try again because i am not connected with the internet i need to go to uh, again connect with the internet to get the network connectivity so that's the reason the next command is ip config ip config uh, command is one of the most useful basic uh, windows networking command everyone should know and use the troubleshoot uh, used to, to troubleshoot the problem ip config command displays the basic ip address configuration information of the windows device you are uh, working on in fact the command will display information for every network adopter that is installed in your windows computer so let me try this command ip config and it is telling me about the uh, my ip address it starts output put it starts starting from here windows ip configuration media is disconnected that is the lan and i am connected with uh, basically let me do it Uh, this is the IP address I received from my ISP IPv4 and this is the above is the IPv6 and this is the subnet mask default gateway is not assigned to me uh, uh, why it's it, it didn't assign me because I am connected with the cable network and if I am connected with my office uh, network it will assign me uh, wireless LAN it is basically it is hidden here uh, not showing uh, they are not showing me wireless ad adopter and here you can see it's wireless information and here you can see the default gateway is this one my routers uh, gateway and this is this IP is assigned to me so this is the uh, IP config and the next command is get Mac it will return me the mac or the physical address of my adopter these are the physical address the next command is host name host name is, uh, is the computer name of uh, of my laptop which is this one you can also find this from uh, computer properties system properties the next thing is ns lookup The NS Lookup Windows 10 networking command displays the information that you can use to diagnose domain name system DNS infrastructure. Using NS Lookup without a parameter will show the DNS server your PC is currently using to resolve the domain names into IP address from name to IP. And I am using Google, uh, like if you see, I am using the Google IP, uh, Google uh, DNS, NS Lookup. You can see this is Google's address and you can also resolve like if I resolve google.yahoo.com and it is uh, uh, replying me the following IPv6 addresses and these are the IPv4 addresses against Google no, uh, google.com. So uh, the next command is trace RT. Trace RT is let me uh, exit from this and let's look up. Uh, trace RT, uh, trace RT is another uh, handy tool for troubleshooting the networking connection in Windows 10. Is trace RT command. This command will tr uh, trace the route a data packet takes before reaching its destination, displaying information on uh, each hop and long uh, along the route. Each hop of the route will display the latency between your device and the particular hop and the IP address of on the of the top let me run trace rt space google.com 
and it's tracing the hops of my uh, router this is the router gateway IP address uh, traffic is exiting from this and now it's going to the public internet address it will my next hop will be my ISP or providers router this is my router and the next will be uh, I think the uh, sometime uh, the networking guys uh, disable this uh, co uh, command trace RT or ping to to secure the, their network so uh, that's why it's not replying me otherwise it will reply and it's 30 hops count maximum 30 hops it can go and I am not sure if my provider also stops this command the next command we will see is netstat uh, netstat command displays the active TCP connections uh, ports on which the computer is listening Ethernet stat statistics the IP routing table IPv4 statistics and IPv6 statistics when used without parameters the command displays active TCP connections uh, the information this command provides can be useful in pinpointing the problem in your networking connections to run this command let me get out from this uh, net stat net stat and these are all the, all the uh, connection established tcp ip connections and it's going on uh, time to wait and it's going on let me stop it because the list is very long uh, the next command is R the address resolution protocol the Windows 10 networking command R displays the entries in the address resolution protocol cache which contains one or more tables that are used to store IP addresses and their resolved uh, uh, Ethernet physical addresses to get useful information from the R command you must provide a parameter the most general parameter is, is slash a which displays the current or cache uh, ARP or cache tables for all uh, the interfaces like type me R space space uh, forward slash a and press enter so this is the R table providing the uh, IP addresses against the physical addresses and this is the 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 R command detail the next thing is path ping the path ping command generally speaking the windows 10 networking command path ping combines the ping command uh, with the uh, with the trace rt the ping command first we uh, learn and the trace rt is the sixth the combination of both these command uh, is the path ping so uh, providing the information about the network latency network loss at the inter, uh, intermediate hops between a source and the destination as you can see in the path ping command provides more detail than either ping or trace RT uh, can provide such as latency reports and statistics on packet loss so let me type a path ping space google.com and it's uh, similarly it's uh, running like a trace route but providing the more information as compared to trace RT or ping because it is a combination of the uh, uh, both of the commands the last command of this video is the system info the system info provides the uh, 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 list uh, in the system uh, info command which displays the detailed list of the configuration information about your Windows 10 PC the information listed by the command is too lengthy to mention in the full but includes the installed version of the Windows 10 the host name the product ID the type and the number of the CPU the RAM configuration the network details the installed hotfixes and many many more and uh, you can see system info and press enter the list is very long it is calculating and you can uh, see uh, if I start from the bottom the network cards detail of all the uh, network card it's Bluetooth Intel wireless card Intel Ethernet card uh, this is hyper virtual because I have installed uh, uh, the um, 
Hyper V uh, virtual software and the tap windows uh, I have installed also uh, I am also using the uh, VPN so all these five are the uh, network cards uh, only the one is the LAN and the wireless are the physical but rest of three are the virtual and you can see system in info if I start from here host name OS name uh, Windows 10 professional version which version is uh, and which build is Microsoft Corporation is a manufacturer configuration standalone workstation uh, uh, build type is Microsoft uh, multiprocessor free and owner name is admin product ID and date of install uh, it's 12 uh, 22 uh, April 2021 and uh, and many many more you can see men lot of information is avail available here so viewers this is all about the uh, uh, networking command and uh, if you learn uh, something new please please feel free to uh, share this video with your friends and subscribe my channel thank you very much for watching this video and bye for now